I think that comedy ultimately comes from darkness. No, I'm not the old Jew. I, I laugh at old Jews because I'm not one of them. My argument has always been that Jewish people are uh, funny even when they're not trying to be funny. What is it, how many Jewish grandmothers to take a screw in a light bulb? None, they oh, sit in the dark. For people that are so small in the world, that make such a big blast and such a big, we, we talk so much about it. Yeah. No other comedians go up and discuss it and, and do a callback to it and bring it around, you know? Right. You know, it, 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 so we bring attention to it, right? Yeah. Once in a while, like, you'll hear a comic say, I'm, uh, I'm Irish Catholic, blah, 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 right? And then the, whatever the whole line is, or his line. But Jews are, you know, constantly, and they can always bring back to it. And, it, you know, and, and it's just a small group of people in the world, in the world. Right. But we're so loud. It's just so funny that we're so loud. You know? Yeah, it, it is funny. I mean, it's, we're self-obsessed. For sure. For sure. Look at you. We've got a camera crew to discuss your Judaism. There's, there's, it's so self-obsessed. What, what, what guy, what Christian in the world is running around now with a camera crew? Talk to me about being Christian. No one cares. Your connection to, to Judaism is through comedy. I, was, I remember, I, was, I think I mentioned it before, but the other day I was in, uh, in Second Avenue Deli, and the smell is so geschmacked. It's so delicious and beautiful. And this guy walked in, looked just like you, with his wife, goes, ah, smells like Judaism. To him, that pastrami, that scent in the air, the rogalach, the pickles, the whole thing, that to him is Judaism, right? right? To you, it's going to a comedy club, having some guy say, uh, you know, whatever the joke is, and making a Jewish shtick out of it. And that's, the, that, that, that's your experience to it. I'll tell you the funniest thing in the world. And it's timing, it's timing, and Jews have this type of time. I was, this is like, I'm at a Shabbat dinner in, um, in Brooklyn, and they sit me next to this guy who's a survivor of the Holocaust. Old man, he's wearing a short sleeve shirt, the, the, you see the numbers and everything. And a conversation began at the table about the synagogue, and somebody in the synagogue who moved the chair and didn't put it back or borrowed a book and it was nonsense, nonsense. This old man out of nowhere picks his head out of the soup and in Yiddish says, <clears throat> Ich gedenkt him von der Lager. In, which means I remember him from the lager, from the death camps, from the death camp. Now you have to understand now the whole room is like, <laughs> he's got our attention, like the floor is yours, right? <laughs> And he says this in Yiddish. It was the funniest thing. You're talking about, they're talking about a guy in the synagogue who must be 100 years old also, who took a book and then bring it back. Nonsense, right? And he begins to tell the story. He goes, There was a night. I had a potato. And I had hot the kartoffel. And he didn't have a potato. And he gave him my kartoffel. I gave him my potato. Right? And we're all listening to this. And he takes the perfect pause and says, if I'd have known back then he'd be doing the things he's doing today, I wouldn't have given him the potato.